Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages, my name is David Popovich, aka The Bookworm, and welcome to Bookworm's Goosebumps Retrospective. Today, I say today, I have a hankering for number 53, Chicken Chicken. I hate chickens. I hate you. They are filthy creatures, and they smell like... like chickens! Who in their right mind hates chickens?! Not a good start with our protagonist here. This is Crystal, and she lives in the very small Ohio town of Ghost Hen Falls. And like all small towns, they have their own witch. Cause it's a law for all small towns to have a witch. This one is named Vanessa. Vanessa is a mystery woman. No one knows if she's young or old. She keeps to herself. I've hardly ever seen her in town. She lives in her old farmhouse right outside of town with her black cat. Naturally, everyone says she is some kind of sorceress. But most kids don't really believe it and love to play mean pranks on her. In particular, Crystal's brother, Cole. Crystal isn't a fan of the pranks, cause no one likes a jerk. But she and Cole make Vanessa angry when they accidentally make her drop her groceries. A shiver of fear made me take a step back. I grabbed Cole's arm. I started to pull him away. But Vanessa stepped forward, her long black dress sweeping along the sidewalk. She pointed to Cole with a slender finger tipped in black nail polish. Then she pointed at me. Chicken, chicken, she whispered. The two go home, thinking that Vanessa is just weird. But soon, the two start to make clucking sounds. Their lips start to get hard, and long white feathers begin to grow out of their neck. They realize their worst fears. They are turning into chickens. But can they figure out how to reverse the curse before it's too late? The cover is... <laughs> okay, what the hell is that? Is this supposed to be scary? Okay, first off, a human head on an animal has already been done before, so props for originality. Second, that face. Oh god, that face. It is freaking hilarious. I don't know about you, but this cover makes me laugh. I'll give props to how they blend in the chicken anatomy with the human's head, but nothing comes off as scary. I think it has to do with the chicken's body. It being all round and fluffy kind of clashes with the girl's scared face. Feels like it's trying too hard to compensate for the fact that chickens aren't that scary. Also, obviously, dramatic lightning. It's a finger linky nightmare. As for the story itself, it's not my favorite. The story still follows the standard Goosebumps formula. But hell, in many ways, Crystal and Cole are some of the smartest kids I've read in the series. When they notice something is really wrong, the first thing they think of is to inform their parents. Not to hide it, not to pretend it doesn't exist, not because of any kind of dumb kid reasons, but to go get an adult. But oh my god are these some of the dumbest parents I've seen. The kids tell them straight to their face, but they don't pay any attention to it because of a barbecue. Really? Then they are always away for some contrived reason. Worse parents ever! But then there's the fact that Crystal and Cole really don't deserve any of this. Yeah, it does make the horror more believable. You know that these kids are being unfairly punished, especially when they see Vanessa gets a sick sense of joy out of it. It makes us want to see them get out of the problem. They're not perfect, but they are still decent kids. But then we learn why they were given this curse in the first place. And it's stupid. You want to know what it is? Manners. What? All this is happening because Vanessa is a manner Nazi and the kids didn't apologize when they knocked her groceries down. <sighs> what makes this stupid is how out of touch Vanessa is. The ending of the book is basically a PSA about kids to remember your manners. But seriously, it indicates that Vanessa doesn't know her reputation with the kids in the village. Because of her reputation, the kids like to play pranks on her. Which leads to a series of misunderstandings that could easily have been avoided if a certain old witch learned how others perceived her. Oh yeah, I'm winning the full blame sorely on Vanessa and her dumb standards. Crystal and Cole never intended to do any harm. It was all an accident. But because they didn't say anything? Screw you, become chickens. Logic? 
When a Goosebumps book has a message, it is at least foreshadowed within the themes of the story, but this one comes out of nowhere. In hindsight, you can figure out how everything is connected, but I'm sorry, this is stupid because the crime doesn't fit the punishment. The reveal ruined my enjoyment of the book when it really became obvious what this whole thing was about. And don't get me started about the predictable twist. I don't care I spoiled the entire book for you because this entry is a total skip it. <laughs>